Y una nueva edición de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. We're going to switch to English because we have Christopher Cheney from, uh, he's a director of business development and strategic vision. How are you, Christopher? I'm doing great. Good morning, and maybe it's, maybe it's good afternoon by now. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, uh, we are all over the country, so it's a uh, good day everywhere. <laughs> okay, sounds great. Thank you very much. Um, I was uh, mentioning in the introduction in Spanish, um, Strategic Vision come up with a new stud, total quality study for 2000, the best 2013 models. Um, and first of all, can you please explain a little bit about the Strategic Group um, initiatives and what, what you do and on that, and how many years you've been doing this study? Sure, absolutely. Well, Strategic Vision has been around for about 40 years, and it's a group of both um, psychologists and scientists, scientists meaning that there are computer science um, and actually a physicist who works with our company. And the unique thing about our company is that we want, we've always, from the beginning, over 40 years ago, wanted to combine both the emotional or the human aspect of how people look at things and how people make decisions based on their personal values. And we wanted to look at the actual hard science, you know, the, the things that you can touch, the things yeah. that you can experience. And at Strategic Vision, we bring those two things together. Back in 1995, in the automotive industry, um, as you and perhaps most of the listeners know, you know, over the decades, new cars have evolved to more than just, um, you know, what car is going to last the longest. And at Strategic Vision, our total quality study is just that. It's, it's a total look at every aspect of quality. Yeah. You you know, for example, you know, most people know that there are a lot of people out there who rate new cars. But we, a long time ago, knew that there was much more to, you know, if you bought a new car and your windshield wiper went bad, You know, that's a problem, and you're going to have a reaction to it. Yeah. But if you bought a new car and your transmission fell out, you're going to have a different reaction to that. And so we always felt like we needed to not only measure the experience, but to measure the emotional experience. And so we put those two things together to make up the total quality. Yeah, you mentioned about uh, 500 fa different factors uh, to come up with uh, with this list, including love. I mean, the, and love is like, oh, I love this thing in the car, or I, I hate that this thing in the car. And it's very funny because I'm, I'm helping a friend right now um, car shopping for a new SUV. And there are little things, little, little, little things. Like, for example, in the Audi Q5, the light that comes out of the handle, the door handle, when it's uh, at night, it, it lights up. And it, that little thing, like, caught her attention uh, a great deal, actually. <laughs> so it, it's very that, interesting. Exactly. That's a perfect example. And, and what we do in our study is we measure things like that. And we ask the people, we have about, there's about 400,000 people who complete our surveys each year. And we ask them a lot of questions. And some of those questions are meant to measure what you love yeah. about the card, like you just described. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very emotional aspect. I mean, like people ask me uh, a lot of what car should I buy. And when I tell them, they, they don't listen. <laughs> they want a more reassurance of what they're thinking. Uh, than uh, probably the opinion of a quote-unquote expert, right? Exactly, and and that's why even though we, you know, we, we, we would like to see ourselves as experts, but really the expertise comes in <clears throat> the ability to capture what the what the user, what the customer is experiencing, what, what you love about a car or what you hate about the car. Yeah, exactly. And, and in fact, in our surveys, we use those words. We actually put on our surveys Do you love this? You know, is it excellent? Is it satisfactory? Or do you hate it? Yeah. Uh, so going to the study for this year, uh, very good news for the three from Detroit, right? Yes. Yeah. Things have, there's been a lot of progress, and, and, and that progress was captured in our study. Yeah. The Dodge Dart came up, came up uh, as um, one of the highest in the small, com in the compact segment, right? Uh, very interesting car because it has a lot of technology from Alfa Romeo in Italy. Uh, being um, Chrysler, part of the Jeep group, uh, uh, the um, Fiat group, I'm sorry. Um, there are a lot of good things about that car, and um, although I think the sales weren't that good at the beginning. Yeah, it was a little bit slow going, and that's because, as, and again, as you and, and I'm sure most of the listeners are aware, Dodge has had some problems in the past, and there have been some issues that people still kind of wonder, well, is a Dodge going to be high quality? And so people are a little bit slow sometimes 
to try something out when a brand has had some issues in the past, but they those are issues in the past, and they're they're right up there with everybody else now. Yeah, and uh, speaking of more or less the same concept, uh, the Koreans, uh, Koreans Hyundai and Hyundai um, are in the it appear in your list like the Soul, for example, is a very uh, multifunctional car that that has great reviews. That is that is exactly right, and that's that's another good example of when uh, Hyundai and the Korean with Kia, uh, when they started introducing cars here in the United States. Yeah, uh, it, a lot it, of people looked at it as okay. Well, these are cheap throwaway cars that we can buy because they're cheap, but we throw them away because they're not going to last long. And they've come a long way. Nobody took them serious in the beginning, but one of the things, if you if you or your listeners were to uh, go and Google strategic vision and total quality, you would see that maybe I think it was about five or six years ago we did a study and we talked about how Hyundai would be big in the U.S. at some point, and they they are a competitor now. Yeah, absolutely. I was actually at the um, a launch event for the Kia Cadenza, the first luxury car from Kia, and actually they were making fun of their own <laughs> because they were saying when they introduced the, the brand here in the States in uh, 18 years ago, people said a Kia, and people thought they were going to the IKEA store, <laughs> like the, the furniture <laughs> store, like buying disposable cars, and the cars that you can put together as a kid in your house. <laughs> that, that's exactly right. That's how people thought of them, and uh, Now there's not so much laughing going on now because they are serious competitors and, and all the manufacturers know they're here to stay. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that something they're doing very smart, I, the, the packaging they're doing in the cars, like putting all the technology and all the things that people more or less expect now in new cars, like Bluetooth and navigation, uh, a keyless entry and all those things are are available everywhere. I mean, if you can get it in, a, for example, a, a Kia Forte for $25,000, why do you have to pay $5,000 for an option in a Mercedes-Benz or an Audi or a Porsche, right? You're right. In fact, last year, one of, and we do another study. We, Of course, you know about total quality, but we do another study called Total Value. And uh, Hyundai and Kia have had a lot of leaders in that aspect for the reasons that you just said, because they put a lot of innovation um, standard. Yeah. And people appreciate that. Um, another um, a result of the study is that the Volkswagen Group has come up as a very... A trusted um, brand, right? They have. They they've always been a brand that people have thought was unique, and people have always loved Volkswagens, even when there there were problems. But what they've done now, and actually not just Volkswagen, but all of the um, brands now build really good quality cars. But Volkswagen continues to, and Audi continue to put out cars that are very unique and their styling is very individualistic. And people like, you know, people of, of all ethnicities, everybody likes a car that makes them look special, and Volkswagen has that. Yeah, um, I think besides the cars that are actually very good, and they have uh, overcome problems that they had way back, like uh, in the 90s and the 80s, and, and, and even earlier than that, I think, do you think that their uh, Super Bowl commercials have anything to do with this? Because they're like genius. Well, you know what? There's no question if you get that kind of exposure, and they've had some pretty they, they've had some pretty interesting commercials that are helping people to remember their brand, and so yes, that has an effect. And and I think there's even correct me if I'm wrong. I think there's even been a couple of movies. Uh, I don't know if it's been uh, there was a movie that was out a few years ago called Taken, and I think you know you, you're starting to see some of their cars in movies. Yeah. And people appreciate. That. Yeah, exactly. We're talking to Christopher Cheney, uh, Director of Business Development and Strategic Vision, talking about the Total Quality Awards for 2013. Uh, very interesting study, and uh, I mean, we, we could talk like the whole hour of the show about this, but uh, unfortunately we're running out of time in this segment. Can you please tell us where uh, our audience can find more information about your group and uh, the work you do? Well, our website, of course, is, is www.strategicvision.com. That's where um, most people can go uh, and most easily find out more information about our company. And um, the, the, the thing that I think that most listeners and people can do is just simply Google or put in your search engine, Strategic Vision, Automotive. Alexander Edwards is the president of Strategic Vision, or you could even put my name in, Christopher Cheney. And we've been covered in the Wall Street Journal and USA Today and a lot of 
publications, and, and we, we love to share our information. Excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Christopher. We're going to post uh, the whole study, the, the link to our study in English and Spanish on our website, so uh, a lot of uh, our audience can listen to it. You're Thank very welcome. It's a privilege to have been on your show. Thank you very much. Eh, pues ahí tienen eh, Christopher Cheney de la como decían, Strategic Vision, el estudio de Total Quality de los mejores autos de 2013 eh, y hablando de factores como lo que decía I love, me, me encanta esto del auto, me lo odio, así que no es solamente el factor del precio, el valor, eh, la financiación, sino lo que realmente la emoción que uno siente al ver y al querer tener un auto. Eh, muy interesante el estudio, como decía, lo vamos a publicar en nuestra página de facebook.com slash auto 060 para que lo puedan tener a mano y no se vayan que cuando regresemos vamos al test drive del nuevo Lexus IS 2014 que seguro aparecerá en el estudio del siguiente año. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota.